Different type guns have different type mechanism, but all firearms work on the same basic principle. Unlike fully automatic guns, which can fire continuously, semi-automatic guns fire only one round when the trigger is pulled. This is a 9mm semi-automatic pistol. In this video, we'll see how semi-automatic handguns and pistol works. This is a cartridge. It is loaded into magazine, in which follower and spring keeps the cartridges under pressure. The design of the magazine is such that cartridge can come out only by sliding forward. The magazine is kept into gun. Important internal parts of pistol are shown here. To fire the gun for the first time, the slider needs to be pushed back with the hand against the force of recoil spring. This causes many things simultaneously. Let's see them one by one. First, the movement of the slider pushes the hammer back. The hammer is connected to the main spring through the hammer strut and thus compresses the main spring. This is sear. It controls the movement of the hammer. When slider moves back, the sear under the pressure of leaf spring engages with the hammer and prevents it from returning back to initial position. When slider is released, the recoil spring causes slider to return to its initial position, while hammer remains at its position due to sear. This is called cocking of pistol. Now, let's see how cartridge is loaded into barrel. When slider moves back, it pushes the barrel back through the projection on the slider. This lowers the barrel so that cartridge can be fed into it easily. When slider is returning back, it takes one cartridge into the barrel and pushes the barrel forward to its initial position. The back of the cartridge fits into extractor's notch, which is attached to the slider. The pistol is now ready to fire. When the trigger is pulled, the sear is pushed through the disconnector. This causes the sear to disengage from hammer. The hammer is now free, and under the pressure of main spring strikes the firing pin, which is contained inside the slider. This firing pin in turn hits the primer of the cartridge at its back. The primer contains impact-sensitive explosive, which gets ignited by the impact of the firing pin. This burns the powder inside the cartridge, producing lots of gases, and thus volume behind the bullet is filled with extremely high-pressure gases. Thus, bullet is forced into the barrel, and hence causing the bullet to come out at a very high speed. Once bullet comes out of the barrel, gases are released into the atmosphere, and no more force is exerted on the bullet, and bullet continue to move due to its momentum. The lines and grooves are cut into the barrel which causes the bullet to spin for stability. These gases also apply equal and opposite forces on the gun, but due to heavy weight of gun, it does not attain higher speed in opposite direction. Some of the energy of this explosion is utilized in pushing the slider back. The case moves with the slider and is ejected out with the help of ejector. The slider also cocks the hammer by pushing the hammer back and reload the gun automatically. And gun is again ready to fire the next round. 
The trigger does not push sear directly. The sear is pushed with the help of disconnector. When the slider moves back, with the help of slot cut into the slider, it forces the disconnector to slide down. This disconnect trigger and allows sear to engage with the hammer even when the trigger is pressed. When trigger is released, the disconnector moves into the gap in the slider under the pressure of leaf spring and thus gun can be fired again. The grip safety prevents the gun from the firing. Only when the gun grip is grasped by the hand, the trigger can move the disconnector and thus the sear.